Hey guys, welcome back to episode number 20 of Duo Night. This episode is gonna be absolutely insane because we're gonna be tackling straight in into Shadows of Infinity 2. We got so much cool things in store for you guys today. But before we begin, a huge shout out to all our Patreon members. Without you guys, Duo Night would not be where it is today. From the Duo Night team and I, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for all your generous support. And if you guys wanna get early access to every single Duo Night episodes, behind the scene content, best two out of three, five finals and ultimate losers match and so much more be sure to join the patreon today in the link down below all right guys that's pretty much it let episode 20 of duel night begin welcome to duel night this is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level it goes like this the set for every episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals battling for the title of champion. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us duel it off to see who can become the master of Duel Knight. Let's begin. All right, guys, here we go. The Clash of the Titans, the Battle of the Gods. Sacred Beasts versus the Egyptian Gods. Without further ado, let's roll the set intro. Here we go. Raviel, Haman, and Uriah. A brief mention in an episode would be an injustice against these magnificent monsters. So now they will duke it out amongst themselves to see which of these phantasms can reign supreme. However, they are not alone, despite being released years later in the TCG. The Egyptian pantheon will tear through the fabric of time to compete against their inglorious counterparts. Raviel enlists the aid of fiend-type monsters to sustain an unmatched level of attack points. Uriah converts mundane, continuous traps into a behemoth of unlimited potential. Haman amasses an impenetrable wall of continuous spells. And the wrath of the gods can be incurred by sacrificing any three monsters. Which sacred beast will win this brawl? Or will the almighty God smite each and every one of them? Get your game on! What's up? Fresh off another victory. Had to bring in the championship. And guys, I got some good news. I just got laser eye surgery so I can see my trophy even more clearer. Let's go, baby. I'm ready to win today. I hope you guys are ready to watch. Let's go. What's going on, guys? Duel Night, I'm back. I'm super excited. We're on part two of, of course, the Sacred Beast sets. I grew up watching the Sacred Beast and I'm glad to be here. The last time we were on Duel Night, you guys all know I won. I'm currently a champion on the last episode and I don't plan on losing that title. I'm here to win again. Welcome back to Duel Night episode number 20. I am so grateful that we've gotten this far in Duel Night. And for today, we got a special episode planned. And I hope you guys find it super enjoyable because I have many more specials planned in the future. And these are honestly just the coolest things to work on. So, I guess uh, I'll let Sam deal with it now. Enjoy, guys. Guys, it's so great to be back. Episode 20 is gonna be insane because Jesse has done something crazy and revolutionary to the draft. I cannot wait to draft in today's episode because we know the gods and the shadow beasts are involved. <laughs> I'm excited. And Patreon, if you're seeing this one day early, man, you know what I'm saying? We're growing bigger and better here on the Patreon. And without you guys, man, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, thank you, like for real. Thank you guys. I appreciate every single one of you on Patreon. Love y'all. Oh, and anybody that just watches the video and smash the thumbs up button, 
and just subscribes and loves Doonight. I love you too. Guys, leave in the comments below on which gods is gonna win in today's episode. Right now, which gods? Leave in the comment section below. First of all, how, uh, how, uh, how's your drafting experience? Was it good? Yeah, I guess clean. You think it's clean? How yours? I like mine too. Mine is pretty interesting. Oh, my. I, okay. I oh, you. Be careful, boys. Be careful, boys. Let's just say I got three. I got two Obelisks, brothers. <laughs> Steven, if you can summon all three, you're amazing. I will. I roll. Six. six. Oh. oh, Sam got a six. Oh, oh middle. I see. Oh! So I'm pretty much do I play against Steve, Sa 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 Steven, Sam or Steven. Let's see you in the finals against him. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, Jeff oh, Let's do this. Yeah, Sam in the first. No! Yo! Get, get your game on! No! It's for to do the duel! Get to play against Triff Gaming. I actually don't think we've played since he beat me in his revenge match all the way back in PGDs. This means it's only the third time we're playing. We're even, that means, one and one. That's unacceptable. Let's make it two one my favor. Jesse's my first opponent, and I want it this way. It's not a real victory unless you face the best. So once I best Jesse, Sam Rasum is next, and I'm taking home my third trophy of the season. Mark it down, let's go. Ooh, I'm facing my brother, Sam. Guys, I grew up playing Sam. Trust me, back in the day, every single night we play, we stay up, you know, high from our mom because our mom made us go to sleep early. But you know what? Now, I want to beat Sam. I've never beat him on dual night. Let's beat Sam today, guys. Who's with me? Who's with me? Ooh! Oh, 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 oh. I'm facing Zoom, huh? You know what, guys? You know, as uh, the big bro, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, just, it's just how, you know, the family function just works. You know, the big bro always win. Little bro always lose. So I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter what deck Zoom has. <laughs> okay, so we got the Haman deck, or the Striking Thunder, and here's the deck I built around it. So, this one is ambitious. That's the way I like it though. We got a couple things juggling. I managed to get all three ant eater eating ants as my back removal and supplements the power that Haman has. But it works with spells and traps. That's cool. I also managed to get Ancient Gear Golems. Now, this may look silly, but it means I can combo with Ancient Gear Castle or with Light on the Load, both of which are continuous spells that synergize with the first two monsters I mentioned. The main strategy, however, though, as far as my continuous spells go, is Archerfiend's Oath and Convulsion of Nature. When those combo off together, I get to add a free card every turn from the top of my deck to my hand. That will get me super far ahead if I manage to pull it off. And if I don't, Archivine's Oath plus a big eye still has some awesome synergy to get me far, farther ahead in the game. This is my deck list. In my deck, it revolves around one main strategy, the real god cards. Not no Walmart dollar store god cards, but the real ones. Merrick, Kaiba, and Yugi. Even the, what's, what, yo, what's the guy's name with the bald head and like, like earrings and glasses? Oh, Farfa. Yeah, that guy. He looks the same. I'm going to shout out to him, the Slifer Exodia guy. We're going to win this one, no matter what, for all my homies back in Season 1. And then after that, we're going to defeat all these little budget, little Yuria, Ravel. I don't even know their names until today. They're all going down. The main strategy of my deck is to summon these bad boys out with powerful spells like Soul Exchange, powerful monsters like Treeborn Frog, and utilizing the Knights. Queen's Knight, Jack Knight, and King's Knight. My favorite god card of all... Obelisk the Tormentor! Shout out Kaiba. You take this card and you fist to fate the opponents back into last episode. Let's go. All right, guys, we just finished the draft. 
Here is my deck list. So if you guys can tell from looking at my deck, we are built around Raphael. And of course, as you guys know, I won with Dark Worlds, so I had to, of course, go with the Dark World theme again. Of course, my main strategy is Raphael, my boss monster. I'm trying to get him as out as fast as possible. His effect is I can tribute summon three fiend monsters to special summon him. And oh boy, you guys all know, Karimo, he is gonna be my strategy on bringing out my boss monster. What's special? about Karibo is that of course if he's in my hand and I get attacked I can send him from my hand to the graveyard and I take zero battle damage from that battle but of course I don't want Kribo for that effect. I want Kribo because I have the card called Multiply. <laughs> Multiply says that if I tribute Kribo, I can special summon as many Kribo tokens. So of course, five, four, three, two, one, as much as I want, but they won't be staying on the field because of course I would need Raphael to tribute those three fiend tokens, not to tribute summon, but special summon Raphael. That is my big strategy, bringing up my Raphael. Of course, as I just mentioned, my deck is built around Dark World. So I'll have big cards like Dark World Lightning to of course pop face down cards and then of course discard my Dark World monsters to get off their effects. And then of course I have some special secret monsters such as Dark Necrofear, who's kind of a boss monster specifically for fiend monsters. And because my deck has built with all fiend types, of course Raphael, Karibo and Dark Necrofear can come to the field. One of my favorite cards that I drafted was Night Assailant. He's a secret man eater bug, and hopefully he'll come clutch for me during the duels. All right guys, so as you saw in the beginning, I got to draft the Uriah Lord of Searing Flames. So during the draft process, I tried to draft as many cards that complemented the Uriah strategy as much as possible. Here is my deck list. All right, guys, you guys see about the deckness right here. This is Uriah based deck. My number one priority when drafting in today's video was to draft Sangan and Miss Tomato. The reason why Sangan is so powerful in Uriah based deck is because Uriah has zero attack. So that means if Sangan gets destroyed, I get to search Uriah directly from a deck to my hand. And if I have a higher chance seeing Sangan, I have a higher chances of seeing Uriah. My next strategy was to draft all the trap cards as much as possible to complement Uriah. All these trap cards are very, very powerful in my deck and keynote i hate drafted as many spell trap card hate as much as possible so i took the true nades you know what i'm saying and i also took the royal decree royal decree is obviously kind of bad in my deck but it's kind of good because i can use royal decree to my advantage i can turn off royal decree anytime i want because of uriah sending it to the graveyard and giant true Nade, really good in my deck because i get to bounce everything back and just game shot right away with uriah lord of searing flames Oh, fun fact, once Uriah comes out, I get to destroy a spell with trap card. If I call priority, your opponent cannot chain anything to my Uriah. So, if Bottomless existed in this draft, cards like Bottomless will not be able to get used on Uriah. That's just a fun fact for you guys to know. Honestly, regardless, I'm super duper excited. I get to play the Shadow Beast version of Yami Yugi. Time to win this duel night, baby. Here we go. Honestly, I actually don't like you right now. Because I'm reported? No, because you never cheer for me. You always cheer for Jesse. Why? You're always like, oh, big brother. Yeah, oh, big brother. Yeah, yeah, I hope. Yeah, yeah, my big I swear Sam has the most wins of doing night. <laughs> oh. Sorry, we roll. No, 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 no. No, 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 it was off the screen. That was two. That no, was it. He got a two. Oh, no, didn't see it, didn't see it, right? What? <laughs> That's not fair. Oh, oh. That's the line. That's the bro. Ew. Oh, sorry. Sorry. All right. Four. Uh. Your boys first. Good luck. Thank you very much, Sam. Yeah, uh, if if. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. What does that mean? All right. <laughs> I'm first. Sam, you good? Um, I'm wonderful. What do you mean? You're wonderful. What are your... All right. Whoa, what card's that? Six. I oh, thought it was seven. Come on, Sam. That's what you did when we were younger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First, I'm going to use... Different Dimension Capsule. What does that do? What it does is I can uh, pick a card from my deck and choose it to come to my hand in two turns. Wow. Yeah, but you don't get to see it. Congratulations. Yes. Listen, and, um, you can't lose this. You really can't lose this. Okay. 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 I got a pretty good start to Different Dimension Capsule. Of course, I can get any card from my deck to my hand. And you know what I'm picking. Raphael, boss, come to me. All right. So you're adding this to your hand? I'm adding this to my hand. Okay, yeah, um, you, um, you can show them. I, I actually want to show you guys. Is that okay? Can I show, but I can't show you right now. Yeah, don't show me, but you can show them. All right, I'm bringing this card to my hand. Okay. All right. 
So in two standby phases, different dimension capsule, he, uh, you can just, you, you can actually destroy it, so it stays on the field, yeah. if you didn't know that, uh, yeah, that's I what I want to teach you. I can read. Okay, my bad. Uh, I'm going to set one. Yeah. And then I'm going to, um, okay, I'm going to set one as well. Yep. Good turn. I assume drop a turn. I am going to normal summon and miss the map. The map. Attack. Attack. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Wait, what? 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 One standby phase on different dimension capsule. Congratulations, you can count. Wow. Thank you very much. I Hold appreciate up. that. Um, I'm going to normal summon what? Beige Vanguard of the Dark World. Whoa. It's pretty strong. Really, really good. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Yes, sir. I'm going to enter battle phase. Yeah. Attack. On attack declaration, I will use the card Be Gone Nav. What does that do? Nave or Nav? Nave? Nave. Maybe. Is it, I believe it's Canave. It's, it's Canave. Canave. It's be gone Canave. Okay. As a fact. Uh, it says, uh, if a monster inflicts battle damage to a player, return the monster to the owner's hand. Oh, nice. Yeah, so uh, yeah, you, I lose so, 200. Okay. So, so he dies. Yeah. It goes to my hand. Yeah, it goes to your hand and the tornado activates. Oh, cool. It's pretty cool. Oh, I think it's, oh, it works for me. Oh, whoops. Wait, but does it go to your hand? It's, 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 it must return that monster to, okay, so I put down damage. Okay, gotcha. Mm. So what are you going to summon? I am going to get Sang. Oh, but you can't attack me because if you attack, it goes to your hand. Yeah, but it's a thousand. Why not? Oh, true. Sure. True. And then you summon it again. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. smart, 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 right? Mystic Tomato, summoning my Sang Yan is one of the most crucial plays in my entire deck because when Sang Yan dies, I get access to Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. Soon, thank you very much. Okay, good. Um, And main phase two, I'm good. And? And, yeah. I draw a turn. Yep. Wow, so much. Wow. Okay, soon I am going to go enter battle phase, stack for a thousand. I'll take it. Yeah. Effect of Nave. Nave. Be gone, Canave. Be, Be gone. It's Canave. Be gone, Canave. I Canave to my hand. Yep. Um, now, soon I am going to normal summon Sanjan. Okay. I'll end my turn. All right. That's pretty. That's pretty that, was, that was it? Yeah, that was it, kind of. Yeah. Draw. Different dimension capsule. Yeah. I get to activate this guy. Congratulations. This guy comes to my hand. Wonder what that is. True. You want to guess? Uh, I think I know what it is. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'm going to normal summon Braun. Okay. Mad King. Okay. Okay. Yep. Braun Mad King. Enter battle phase. True. Tax sign again. Yep. So you might be 100. Yep. So we got an action in one. Okay, then I'll turn two. Yep. I'm gonna discard beige. Beige effect is he discarded. I yep, okay. spice so, summon him. So chain resolves. Chain, chain resolves. resolves. Spice summon. No, it's a new chain. Okay. So this bounces your hand. Okay, gotcha. Okay. And now effects, sang again, thing. Beige two. Yep. So yep. Base spice summon. Yep. And sang has effects. Sang will search. Okay. Search! Uriah! Lord of Searing Floods! Wow, Sang Yang can add Uriah? That's a pretty good combo, Sam. Pretty good combo. Yes, sir. Um, I'm gonna use my crush. What do you call it? Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. Wow, it's very unfortunate. I know. Do you have that in your hand? Soom uses Mind Crush. Activate Roll Decree. I knew that Soom had something up his sleeve. That's why I was prepared, and I had the Roll Decree set. And now I get to use it. <laughs> Royal, oh my mother packer. Okay, so that means nothing happens. Congratulations, you are correct. To be honest, I knew you had that. Really? I, I felt you did. Okay. And I did it only because Be Gone, the naive, will not take effect. True. 1600 is nothing. That's pretty smart, though, right? It's pretty smart. Pretty smart. Yeah, pretty smart. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. Number, number, number. Anyways, though. Yep. Beige, back to your face. No problem. All right, I'll, I'll take that. Okay. Oops. You take those there. Wow. It's kind of scary now. Okay, I'm going to um, end my turn. Wow, that's kind of unfortunate. Go. Draw a turn. I will flip. Roll command. What does that do? 
I just, I'm just flipping it. Just straight to side by. Final attack order. Oh, wow. Uh, main phase one. I'll tribute these three. Here we go! Everything is set up. I flip all my trap cards, as you can see. Summon Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. To the GY. To tribute summon Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. Oh, no. The Egyptian god is here. He's yes, scary. sir. <gasps> Uriah, oh my god. Apparently, Uriah is one of the best sacred beast monsters. Or if anything, the best. This is tough. Scary. Uh, so right now, he's at 3,000 because of three traps in my graveyard. Uh, now I'm just going to enter the battle phase soon. Yep. I will attack four, two, 1,400 to the base. 1,400? Oh no, 56 to 54. So he's got 3,000 and his effect is... Oh, it doesn't matter because World Decree. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. That's it? You, the answer? Uh, main phase two, I'm going to activate Ro the Dragonade. Wow. Add this to my hand, add this to my hand. So you guys see at this point right here, I activated Giant Trunade. Giant Trunade is really important because I have a Roll Decree face up on the field and my trap cards are really, really good. So using Giant Trunade to bounce back all my traps so I can reset them and use them again was really important play for me. That's what I want you guys to know. Now I will set three back row and I'll end my turn. Your turn. Okay, my turn. So sure. Roll Decree is one of the traps, draw. 56, I can probably survive. Just a little bit. Um, set one. Yep. Go. Oh, well, draw. I need something. Come on. All right, guys, so I just drew something really, really good. I'm gonna pretend that it was a bad card and just see if I can bluff my big brother. Need something. Uriah, attack. Attack, yes. attack. You ran into my trap! <laughs> Night Assailant! He fell right into my trap! Night Assailant! Man eater bug! I knew it was good drafting this card. I knew it. It's a flip effect. It's basically Man Eater Bug, but he does it with a blade. I know you're so stupid. You can't, you can't. You're so stupid. You are so dumb. Sam. Destroy. Bye, bye, bye. Guys, this is the worst misplay. I've ever done here on Duel Night. I just ran into Night Assailant and my face down card that I have was Royal Command. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, man. What was I thinking? I just lost my Uriah. I just lost my gun. So, so dumb. I cannot believe that just happened. Night Assailant comes close. Guys, never count out the man eater bugs and Night Assailants, all right? I'm telling you. That was crazy. See, Sam didn't think it was coming. <laughs> no, I, 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 I had an out to that card. My turn? Yeah, your turn. Draw. I'm gonna summon the Karibo okay. in attack mode. Sure. Karibo, enter battle phase. Yep. Attack 300. Yeah, I'm good with 300. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you like that Karibo attack, Sam? I am going to set one and set two. My turn. I right, assume so I draw a turn? Yes. So one card face down? Yes. I will end my turn. Uh, on the end of your turn, I will use multiply. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Tribute one face of Karibo, special summon as many Karibo tokens on the field. They're all um, fiend types and these. Okay, let's go. So five Karibo tokens. Let's go. Yep. I love it. It's my turn? Your turn. I'm going to end. I will draw face. Draw. Okay, very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. What I'm gonna do, I am gonna sacrifice three of my Karibo tokens. Okay, okay, okay. To summon the one, the only, Raphael, Lord of Phantasms. Come to the field, Midi Obelisk. Yes, oh sir. boy. A fun fact to know, he can be summoned because those are fiend tokens, mm. right? Big brain, big brain play. Wow. Big brain play. So as big brain play, as I was drafting, I was like, how can I summon this guy? But multiply with the Kriba tokens, it works. It works. Wow. All right, so his effect. So now his effect is, well, uh, each time you put normal summons a monster, special summon one token. For each summon monster, these tokens count. Once per turn, I can tribute one monster. This card gains battle. Uh, ba uh, yeah, so if I tribute a token, it gains 300. Do you, you mean it against thousands? No, no, no. Each token's at 300. Oh, against yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. 
Anyways, I'm gonna enter the battle phase. Yep. Attack. I'll activate. Small mining circle! Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, oh. just, you just can't attack. That's, that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. No, not bad, not bad. Okay, your turn. Here we go! Spell Binding Circle. The circle that was used to bind Exodia is gonna bind Ravio, Lord of Phantasm. That monster is not attacking at all. <laughs> good luck, Zoom. All of that just to get Spell Binding Circle? Oh my goodness, these continuous traps, man, are annoying. The draw. Dark Summon level one. Yeah, nice. I have that card. Go. Draw one. Yep. I'm freaking sick, dude. I'm the best player in the world. Oh my goodness. Flip. Okay. Flip. Anything? One second. I wish me a wall. Okay, that's fine. Cool. This is a good duel, I think. Oh, this is a really great duel. I think this is a good um, duel. Attack of us three. Oh my goodness. Come on. You guys thought the first Uriah was good? <laughs> How about the second one? Summon Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. But this one is not a 3K. It's at 6,000, baby. Here we go. Uriah's back on the field. So how much attack does he have right now? He's at 6,000. So then he's he'll, he'll, he has less than uh, Raphael. Oh my goodness, Uriah's back. But this time, he's stronger than before. 6,000 attack, he's stronger than my Raphael. No! I gotta find a way to beat this second one now. Things just gotten tougher, boys. Uh, 6,000. Uh, yes. I'll enter battle phase. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Attack. Wait, did, did, do I get a token because he was normal summon? That's a, it's a special, special summon. summon yes. Special summon, oh wow. Attack. Okay, so I'll lose. 2,000. 2,000. Okay, I'll lose 2,000. Yep, Well will attack. No. Like, well, what's the decree of token attack? Token, the token has 200 defense. It has 200 attack. <laughs> <laughs> Set one, I end my turn. All right, guys, I'm not in a good position. There's only one card in my deck that can save me. Heart of the cards. Come on, come on. Okay, that's pretty good. Yep, your turn. My turn? Yep. Wow, that's pretty strong. So does that mean, so draw face? Does that mean his effect is kind of negated because? Yes. It's so negated. I don't have to sacrifice it? Nope. It's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to set. Yep. Okay. Wow, draw effect. Oh my God, you let it live? You gonna just attack with the crew? Oh no, yeah, but yeah. True, true, true. Wow. So that means you just summons level five or level three? Yeah, from my deck, you're in the face, yeah. And if he dies, you draw two. I got two cards, yeah. Yeah, it's not All right, so I use this effect, special level dark and level three. Um, set one. Well, I'll enter a battle phase. Uh, I am going to attack the Uriah. Uriah? Yeah, into it. <laughs> oh, yes! If it goes to a battle, it's into the graveyard. Are you okay with that? Yeah, of course, yeah. So inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Yep. So it was 500, and I get to summon two germ, giant germs from my deck. Yep. In face up attack position. Ah, oh. my boys. You, you, you want to crash into one? Just, just, just for the fun of it. Just takes the 500 damage. Yeah, 46, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, just make sure they're. I guess they're here. So like these two zones. Or tokens. Or tokens, yeah. Gotcha. Um, I'll crash into one. So you lose 500. Yep. Uh, effect? Yep. Draw two? Yep. Nice play, nice play. This is intense. This is getting intense. So your eyes got 6,000. Wow. Yo, it is really hard here. I'm gonna yeah. hold it. Set one card face down. <laughs> I end my turn. Your turn? Yep. Draw. I'm gonna tribute all my three tokens and the giant germ to summon Raphael, Lord of Phantasm. Okay. It's pretty good, eh? Yes. Um. All right. Then I'm going to 
Wow, that's your second time selling ravioli. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to bring them out. I want to bring them out, and then I'm going to enter the battle phase. Yep. I'm gonna attack your face now, monster. True. You're smart. Brain jacker. What would I do? If it lived, I would have stole that, and I would have killed you with it. Yes, unfortunately, it didn't live. True. Thank you very much. That's a. It's called a big brain play. Yep. I'm going to set one card phase down. I'm gonna end my turn. <laughs> it's near deck, man. <laughs> Drop turn. Come on. I will enter the battle phase. Yes. Uriah, attack Raviel. Raviel. See you. See ya. Don't want to be you. I lose 2,000 life points. I'm at 1,600. Set one card phase down. It's scary, scary. And I end my turn soon. Oh, I forgot. You get rolled a Kree. You can't even use your traps. No, nope, but I just set it so I can. I can still activate it. Oh, sure. To have a rag and tribute it. But it'll be negated. All right. Yes. My turn. Yes. Draw. Your turn. Pass. Pass? You're at 1600 soon. Yes. Wow. Uriah. Lord of Searing Flames! Flame attack! LeBron! <laughs> LeBron! All right, Sue. So, uh, that's pretty much it for me. I you? Yes, sir. I need to draw the cards, guys. I need one card in my deck. Who do you draw? I need a card in my deck. You can't draw anything to win. And I can. You get Draw. <laughs> no way! What does it do? It does nothing to me, Capper. No, it does. No, I actually have something. Okay, you can do it. <laughs> Guys, I actually do a pretty good card. Do it. I'm, I'm serious. Do it. I'm gonna normal summon the Karibo. Ooh. Ooh, we're so scary. Yeah, that's okay, scary. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna set one card. He's down. Yeah. Okay. Am I 1600? Yeah. I'll set one card face down. Yeah. And then I'm going to end my turn. I assume Karibo, so that means you're Draw face? Yep. Stab my face? No, nothing. Go. I'm going to use Multiply. All right, no problem. Trick my Karibo. Five more Karibo tokens come to my side. Defense mode. You're just like, stick. You're like just. Stalling for you're just stalling. Yes, sir. Multiply again? Honestly, like I'm like Kaiba with the blue eyes ultimate man. I just can't attack through his infinite Karibos. What's going on, man? Come on. Uh, Uriah, priority. Yeah. Destroy. Oh, chain. You can chain that. <laughs> I'm just. Chain. I can chain for fun. Uh, wow. You can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. Enter battle phase. I'll yes. kill this token. Thank you. Uh. And my turn. Any turn? Yeah. A second. Well, okay. Yeah. Four. Yep. Go. All right. Ready? Yep. I need one card. I need one card. Go. I believe I can win if I draw this one card. <laughs> Two cards. I need. I need one. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can win. Yeah. Draw. Set one. Yep. All right, guys, I have only one hope. I'm gonna set my face down card, and I need Sam to not destroy it. That's all. If I get that, we've got a chance. Sure. Draw. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> guys, this is gonna be a long duel. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a long duel, Sam. Sam, I'm scared. Sam, guys, I'm sweating. <laughs> He's sweating. You're yeah, sweating? I think you're sweating. I see you, Sam. Well, I see I, this little I, sweat I'm there. Actually doing, I'm actually doing amazing. Actually. You're doing amazing. I think we're both doing amazing. Uh, right now, Sam looks like you're, you're in a good position, Sam. You're, you're right. Enter a battle phase. I'm gonna attack. It's probably a, 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 a guard scar, right? Fine. Come and find out. Probably a scar. Do you want to come and find out? I'll attack your token. Take token? Yeah. Okay. Yep, it's only a scar. Uh, I am my turn. That card is definitely Scar, Scout of the Dark World. The reason why I didn't attack Scar, Scout of the Dark World, is because I didn't want him to get more resources from his deck to his hand. So I decided to leave that one set and went for the token instead. <laughs> yes! Draw face. Yeah. Draw. <laughs> Sam, I am. Why, why, why? Why, why, why did you attack my token? What is that? First. <laughs> I'm going to tribute all three of my tokens you to summon the third. Raphael, Lord of Phantasms. Do you have a response? No response. Bombless travel, nothing. Nothing. I want you to know something fun, Sam. Oh my god. That is a special summon. 
I'm gonna flip summon Scar! Scar of the Dark World! Yeah. Tribute summon him to summon Gold! The Dark World! Do I get a token when I summon when he points? Okay, no, okay? And remember, how much taxes do you have? 6,000. Remember Gold's effect. Remember Raphael's effect. I can tribute summon! I can tribute summon one monster on my side, and he gains the attack points! Oh, and that's like all I wanted! You did not attack my monster. Oh. I tribute gold. Raphael's got 6,300. Just more than enough. Stronger than your Uriah. Slife for slacker. That was exactly the play. I needed gold to come out so I can sacrifice gold to boost up Raphael to be just enough stronger than Uriah. Let's go! Lord of Phantasm, enter the battle phase. <laughs> Raphael, attack Uriah! Oh my goodness! Wow! I'm so happy. Ah! <laughs> oh! All right. I just turned that game around. The game's not over, but boys, we're in this. So he has 6,300 till the end of the turn, though. He's back at 4K. I had my turn. The card now. That was insane. That was insane. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm taking great to see how many Uriahs you have left. So you use one, you use two Uriahs. So he needs one more Uriah in his deck. Sammy, big brother. Oh I'm my so god. Happy. I'm so happy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you attack my mom? Okay. Oh, guys, I've never been so happy in my life. Okay, I have my turn. <laughs> Sam, you got 3,800. I have my turn, bro. I draw. Sam. Ramaya. Oh, what a phantasm. Obliterate team, Sam. That's ah! one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Oh my goodness. I gotta say, never give up, guys. You, you'll see, I honestly felt I was gonna lose, like, but you guys see, we turned it around. Heart of the cards. Sometimes you just need that one card to just get it done. Guys, to be honest, I punted really hard. One of the things I realized after the match, I just could have kept all the trap cards in my hand. So each time I draw, when the hand size limit exceeds six, I can just keep sending continuous trap cards from my hand to the graveyard so I can keep boosting up Uriah's attack. But man, I realized that after the match, so. And there were so many mistakes made, but congratulations to Zoom. That Ravio play was insane. That was some anime moment right there, guys. Good luck, Zoom, in the finals. All right, guys, my journey does not end here. I'm about to head on to Patreon right after Jesse and Steven finishes for the ultimate losers match. Join the Patreon right now and see the clash of the gods with me in the ultimate losers match. I'll see you guys there. Jesse, 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 I will defeat you. I will regain what's rightfully mine, that trophy. You already got it last week. I really cannot let you have it for the third time I, already when I haven't won once. That's just, nothing will be right in the world if that happens. Yes, except everything will be right. We will go high roll. Five. Yeah, you're better than five. Yeah, I have won the dice roll. I will decide to go first. Good luck, Jesse. You'll need it. You'll need it. All right, I will draw for turn. All right, for my first turn, I'll activate reinforcement of the army. Uh, that's fine. I will take Queen's Knight. <laughs> and then after that, I will activate Different Dimension Capsule! All the search cards out of the way. Yes, you're not gonna uh, be prepared for what's coming. I've chosen my card. And then, I will set one and I will pass. So I used Rhoda on Queen's Knight, meaning my King's Knight eventually in the duel is gonna get a lot of value to summon out Jack's Knight. But I, don't, I know Jesse, this guy's a genius. I don't want him to know I had this. So I did actually set a mystery monster here and hopefully later in the duel, he'll realize it's not and maybe it'll turn in my favor. But we gotta find next level mind games to beat Jesse. This guy's Pegasus himself. So we gotta do plays that even trick ourselves sometimes to win this duel. Probably the Queen's Knight, but I'll see. Drop the turn. 
You know, I just top decked the best card in my deck. What'd you top deck? Archfiend's Oath. Oh, salt. By paying 500, I declared the top card in my deck. That's sure. Some hand. You don't know what it's gonna be. You're not Pegasus. But I do. Whoa! <laughs> so, this is the meme card everyone's seen on Dueling Book because you have to manually banish oh every card face up. Flip your deck. Oh my god. Man, imagine paying an extra 500. Oh god, that's scary. <laughs> He's scared now, huh? Uh, Shiza. <laughs> um, anyways, I, I'll pay 500 to get my upstart. Ooh. Uh oh. Common is next. Uh oh. I want to use this upstart now. Or do I hold it? I guess I can save it when I know what I want to draw. That's fair. That's fair. Whoo, Steven is done for. Right off the bat, I got my combo. Kamal's Nature, Archer Fiend's Oath. So every turn, I draw one extra card, pretty much. He's gonna have to deal with me very fast because he will not have a lot of time here. This combo is so broken. He knows every card I'm gonna draw and he's drawing two per turn. How, how do I beat this? I need to out this ASAP, otherwise this duel is over. So you didn't moisture a creature, even though I know I was playing a Haman deck. What did you get with that different dimension capsule? I don't know, whatever. I'll set a card face down. Then I will set and set. My turn. Uh, it is your turn, yes. Draw. Cyber Drake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have to set one. Hmm. And pass. Draw for turn? Yes. This is so good. Oh my Whoa, god. Done for. I'll pay 500 life points. Yes. Oh, Arch means oath. Yes. And I get another one in my hand. That's fine. And eater eating and. That means I can get rid of your different dimension capsule. Go for it. I'm not scared. I'm Yugi's grandpa. That he already has a grandpa. I'm his grandson. I will activate Mind Crush on your moisture creature. Let's get rid of that card. That's not nice. I was the tormentor. He literally outed my only way to defeat this lock. Moist critical. This card is so broken. It literally tribute summon, destroy all the spelling traps in the field. Then I will activate my Archer Fiend's Oath. Pay 500, call an ant, eating ant. Ooh, second oath. I draw three cards per turn now. I cannot see a single world. I lose this. Next step though is to really capitalize on this free information I get off Convulsion of Nature. Let's push the advantage. Next card is another Haman. Um, I don't really like this Haman on top of my deck, so I'm gonna bring back a card from your Duel Mind history. Big Eye. Another card that works well with Archfiend's Oath. I can look at the top five of my deck and reorder them. So, five, that's six. <laughs> five. Put that on top. I'm gonna put the Convulsion of Nature on top of my deck. Sounds good. And then I will activate Upstart Goblin. Yep. So you gain 1,000 life. Yep. And I get my second Convulsion Nature in my hand. Yep. This card is a magic piece. Then, set a card face down. Yep. And I'll send my Convulsion of Nature. Mm hmm And my Megamorph. Okay. To summon Ant Eater Eating Ant. Uh, I would like to read this card. Both of our decks will turn upside down. And you have two cards in hand? Yep. So Ant Eater Eating Ant, I'll destroy your deck. No! And then with my big eye, I will attack the monster you just set. <laughs> you got me for 400 life points. And as you're doing, Ant cannot attack this turn. In the main phase two, I will pass turn. Out of the guards, guard me. <laughs> Think. For my move, I will normal summon King's Knight. 
triggering the effect of Special Jacks tonight. Sure, dude. And I will attack you for 700. I will take my 700 points of damage. And it's destroyed. Yes. All right. And I will pass. I will. My knights will protect me. Main phase one? Yes. I will use my ant eater in the ant. On your phase I will change. Draw of greed. I got David. Yes, you have. So I lose my battle phase this turn. That is quite upsetting. I activate the convulsion of nature. Oh my god, not again. Haha, <laughs> you will not know what I'm gonna draw. Hmm. I'll pay 500, add messenger piece to make the hand. Can this card be banned already? Sam? Yes. I want an emergency ban Archfiend Zoles. Banned, now. Thank you. And I will... Pay 500 to add Ant Eater Eating Ant. Konami, this card should be named Hard Ones Per Turn. Um, I will activate Mind Crush on Obelisk the Tormentor. That's not nice, dude. That's not nice, dude. Ooh, this is my fun. guy got rid of both. Are you kidding me, bro? Like, I was gonna obelisk everything away. This card, this is too crazy of a combo. Being able to know everything, I, Convulsion Nature, who plays this card? And then for him to know everything and keep drawing everything and there's just no answer right now. I need to draw my MSTs. I need to stop this ASAP. And then it's all downhill from there for Jesse Botten. Let's go, bro. We're gonna draw right now. Just as long as you guys are hyping me up in the chat right now in the comments with the energy, we're gonna draw the outs, but if not, if not, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to my trophy, guys. It's all on you. This is my favorite one. <sighs> and if that's a god, you only have one left. Oh no. I'll activate light and load. Uh. Oh, okay. Yes. And I'll activate messenger piece. Okay. So now you have Hammond and Ant Eatering Ant in hand. I can't have. Mm, I don't want to. This. I should have. I shuffled the deck, so that was a mistake. Should have that next turn. Um, so I can't attack anyway. Go ahead. <sighs> Upstar Goblin needs to give me an Egyptian god. <sighs> Heart of the cards! <laughs> I'm happy with that one! I will use Upstar Goblin. Okay, so Convulsion has given me the gift of knowing exactly what he has. Dust Tornado and Cobb Haunted. Now, I have multiple stall cards in my hand. The biggest thing I want to make sure uh, I do is make sure that the Dust Tornado is gone for the end of the turn. That way I can replace the any of the cards he destroyed with new ones that I've kept in my hand. So if he destroys a messenger, I can play level limit and I'm feeling comfortable. Because pretty much the only way I lose now is if he gets a surprise kill on me, and I have to make sure that doesn't happen. My knights will protect me from you, and I will pass. I'll draw for turn. I'll pay 100 for messenger piece. Yep. Man phase one? Yes. It's Archfiend's Oath, paying 500 life points, and I'll call Cyber Dragon. Mm. That's fine. Is Enlighten the load? Yes. Shuffle back my helmet? Yes. <laughs> I'll shuffle this down. Okay, so my neck goes face up, draw a new card. Interesting, so I draw that card. <laughs> Another anteater eating ant. I'll pay 500, call anteater eating ant. Yep, have you, uh, wait, I think you already used one. I used you? one, yeah. No, but then you just use, oh, that drew that. Yeah. And did you take 100 from Messenger Piece? 
Okay. That's fine. So add anterior hand. So just to confirm your hand right now, you have two anterior hands, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I know your whole hand, okay. Anterior reading up and effect target this card. It's very unfortunate to be honest. Took a 50-50 poise. I will send one oath and lighten the load. Mm -hmm. So another anti the end. Okay. I'll target that. Alright, we'll chain. Thinking. So you have level limit. Uh Haman. Sorry, I just want to think. Level limit, Haman, anti variant. I'll pop this. Dust Tornado, here's my answer. Convulsion of nature, no more. So at this point, we, we got back control of the duel. He was plusing way too much. It was getting out of, it was just going crazy. So as of right now, I think we're fine. Uh, we just gotta keep grinding here and eventually get back in this duel. My hand is still pretty insane. We just gotta grind it out and we'll find a way. I always do. I will pass turn to you. Yugi, guide me. I will have to pass. Draw for turn? Mm hmm. I'll pay 100 for messenger piece. Yep. It's time to feel the, my wrath. It activates. Level limited AB. Okay. Please go to the defense. Okay. Not a big deal for me, though. Because then I'll send all three to the grave. Hey! To special summon Hamon. Uh oh. These will go straight back to attack mode. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. It's like if you book it and have some this turn. Okay. Yeah. I'll let this one slide for now. I wasn't really giving you a choice. Okay. Well, I let you anyways. And then you may need these monsters. I feel like they can both be offered a way to summon a better, newer monster. That's not nice. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Now we get to close out this duel. He has some silly ass face down monsters. Too bad, Lavagon cleans those up. Bye bye. Next thing we do, attack. Should be over very soon. Ah! Oh, all my monsters are gone! I needed him to attack my tributes. I needed to draw off the Koichi. My Nibble Momonga is gone. Lava Golem? Oh my god. Guys, in this scenario, there are not many cards in Yu-Gi-Oh to save me. I literally need all the heart of the cards. My only answer in my whole deck to win the duel is Pot of Avarice into Soul Exchange or Soul Exchange. Soul Exchange is literally my only answer. Come on, Yugi. Come on, I know you got me. Heart of the cards time. Haman, strike down this Lava Golem. Oh, no. And when it destroys monster for battle, you take an extra thousand points of damage. Yes. So even though Lavagon won't be sticking around, still take that extra thousand. Now my two anti dirty ants can kill any uh. monsters. I don't. You still have another Jack's Knight, possibly another King's Knight. So let's kill your Queen's Knight. There's no X Y Z's out yet. I'll kill the stronger Jack's Knight. All right. Oh and no. I know what I need to save me. I end my turn. Pot of Avarice, come to me! What do I know in your hand? You know in my hand? Cyber Dragon and Eater in your hand. Thanks. Nice deck. So I'd have to defeat your board. I don't have any monsters, like, I don't know why I should Alright, so I know my only answer here. So you do this. 6,000, my goodness. I will pass my dream. Draw for turn! I will enter the battle phase. Yes. My ant, kill your knight. Yes. And I'll take 6,000. Good. Putting me at 1,000. Meaning if Haman connects any monster. Yes. It's over. But you see, Jesse, are you passing your turn? Yeah, I think uh, Okay, I, I have two ways to win turn. this. Pot of Avarice or Premature Burial? Pot of Avarice, Premature Burial. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with it, baby. Hit me are with you sure the best are, are you sure I'm at 1,000 and not like... I didn't mind a recount. I think I'm at like 1,200. 
Well, you see, you've only taken damage like three times, and yes. you just hit like a truck so hard. Yo, look over there, potato! Hey, camera! Another potato! Hey, camera! It's almost like we can see his hand and see what he's doing. I'm gonna draw again. Okay. Oh, I'll just kill you. No, not yet. Wait, I, I didn't give you consent to finish my turn yet. You're also cheating. I, I'm not. I'll do what Sam could never do. Contribute some ancient gear goal. No! Bye-bye, Ants. He served well. Now, how do I finish you off? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Both of them will share equal attacks together. Oh, damn it. Oh, GG. GG's, Satch. We did our best. I the other answer was Soul Exchange. I had five answers. Satch. First match done. Deck performed. Chef's kiss. So let's hope we get that combo off next time too. <sighs> the heart of the cards was with Jesse on this one, man. That's very disappointing. Honestly, I'm a good sport though. I gotta give respect where it's due. And it's not due for this duel. The card is too broken. Ban that card, bro. Jesse, I demand a rematch on Patreon, where you guys can go check it out now. Sam, you're going down, bro. My Egyptian gods will defeat your deck. Your deck is not on my level, baby. So if you guys want to go see that, sign up on Patreon right now. I'm telling you guys, absolutely epic. We all do crazy extras, and it's the most fun. Highly advise it. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I love seeing you guys. I leave, read all the comments, and I can't wait to watch this live. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay, Sue. All right, Jesse, we meet again in the finals. Yeah? The last time I won, I beat you in the finals. Got a better deck this time, though. I know you do, and I'm kind of scared, but I'm gonna get this dub again, all right? I wanna beat the World Master Champion again. Jesse has a belt, I want that belt. All right, let's I'll go. I'll never get that belt. I'll never get that belt. High roll. Ooh, that's pretty good for me. Pretty impressive start. That's pretty, that's a really, that's a really impressive start. Oh, Jesse. I'll match it. Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. No, three. No, no, no. I can beat that. Oh, oh. Apparently he goes off the table. Try it again. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, Ooh. three, three, what? Is that the whole finals is gonna Two? be super intense? I wanna go first, guys. I wanna go first. <laughs> One! Oh. It almost... Okay, I'm going first. off the table. I'm going first. All right, Jesse. May the best player win. Let's see. I don't want Jesse to get his combo off, guys. Steven took that in full effect. That was kind of scary. All right, I'm first. You are. Let's go, I draw. I'm gonna sell one. Your, your move. Your move. Draw for turn. Your move. Main <laughs> phase one. Mm -hmm. I'll start off with piece one of my combo. Convulsion of nature. Both for next combo. Upside down. <laughs> Okay, ooh, oh, look at the top the of load. my line. That was an Aravio. Aravio, what's yours? Lighten the load. I'll put this as politely as possible. I know I'm a better duelist than Zoom. So when both of us are given more information about each other's ha uh, hands, I'll have better tools to figure out how to act appropriately. So don't mean this is a slight to Zoom, but this works better in my favor that we both have our top of our decks revealed the entire game. I will set face oh. down. Okay. And I'll activate the level limit area B. That means level four higher goes to defense? Correct. That's it? Yep. Cool. Okay, my turn? Um, I'll call my turn there. Draw. Dark Mimic level three next. We're talking about lightning. Targeting, yes. Yeah, so I only one card. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Draw. The Koichi. The, the, it does nothing? It does nothing in this case. Effect? You have this card a card? Yep. Okay. Okay. Flip. Sure. Attack. I will happily take this and measly 500. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Go. Go, Jesse. Draw Light in the Load for turn. Interesting. I'll activate Light in the Load. Does affect you. So what it does is once per turn, I can add, a, it's really stupid wording, add a level seven or higher for my monster, uh, for my monster, a level seven or higher monster yeah. for my hand and to my deck, shuffle it, draw a card. So okay. it's like a budget card trader, pretty much. All right. Um, yeah, I don't deck? want to draw this. I would like to shuffle my deck. I'll put back my Ancient Gear going. Okay, you shuffle it. Fair. Would you like to give it a nice cut? I will. And then we'll both get to see the next card I'm drawing. When you're done, flip it upside down. All right, let's go. Jesse's gonna draw. 
That's a dirt piece. Uh, that doesn't hurt me. The same, this one that Sam oh. looks like he has a stain on. Oh, that's a nice card that's nice. Oh, ooh, interesting, interesting. Okay, um, it is the look it's, still your, it's still your turn. It is still my turn. I will continue by setting a single monster face down. And I think I'll call it over there, your turn. Okay, one second, no hard. Okay, draw. You have the Dark Mimic. I don't want that combo to go off, right? You I probably do not want that combo to go off, because I'll be drawing two cards a turn while you're drawing one. I definitely don't. Okay? Giant Trinity. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right, guys, it isn't the best move, but of course I have to use Giant Trunade. I don't want Jesse to get off his combo with his continuous spell card. So of course I have to do it. I know he's gonna use it next turn, but maybe it can stall me one turn to get me something better in my hand. Okay, so Giant Trunade, he knows my next card is Oath, so he wants to turn off the bottom of my deck. That's fine, but he needs to push this window of opening very fast, because if he gives me time to reset it all back up, he's in for a world to hurt still. That means you won't get that Arch Fiend. Not next turn. Not, 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 not next turn. <laughs> not next turn, yes, that's true. It's quite sad. It is kind of sad. I would have liked to get that card. I'm going to normal summon. Dark middle level three. Okay. Gonna enter the battle phase. Sure. Attack the Dark Mimic. You attacked into another Dekoichi, which has a thousand defense. Can you draw one? Fact, activate draw a card. I like that to be the Arch Fiend's oath, but I'll take whatever this is. It's terrible. It's terrible for me. Okay, your turn. Draw off your turn. And I'll switch to the fence. That's okay with you. That's okay. You can do that. Thank you very much. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to activate the convulsion nature again because you know I kind of want to see this Arkans card. Yes, sir. Okay. Dark to my mic level one. Do I want to attack this Dekoichi into your dark mimic to draw a card? Probably not. Both of those have effects when destroyed by battle. Mm-hmm. So instead, I will just reactivate the Vulnerability. Okay. Um, and I think I'm gonna call it a turn here. Draw. I'm going to set one. You don't know what that is. <laughs> no. Uh, you don't, and I'm going to also switch this to defense mode. Your turn. Oh, he gets. Arch oh, <gasps> wait. Oh, you're done for. Does that mean it works twice? Yep. Oh my goodness. I'll pay 500. Wow. Add Archfiend's Oath deck to Also, you have to pay 500 though. Every time. Yeah. Every time you use it, you use 500. Yes. Okay, that's not bad. So, actually, it is bad. But it's not bad. Okay. I will activate a light in the load. Okay. And I will activate. You send back. Hello, sir, hi. Messenger, please. Okay. It's home. I'll send. Wow. Three. No. No. For Hallman. Wow. Lord of Striking Thunder. So, so the fact is, sorry, it's, if he kills a monster? You take a thousand. That's and it. if Walt's in defense mode, you have to target him for attacks. Okay, gotcha. That's but, it. Okay. This looks familiar. Because I'll then tribute your two mimic monsters. The lap. Oh my goodness. And I, I, I got another. You get no effects. And attack or defense? I'll summon in attack mode, because. Okay. Wouldn't you know my guy's stronger? Yes, yes, yes. I'll have to be Dark Fiend's Oath. Okay. I'll call level of Monarchy B. Go and use it, but free card. Won't say no. Okay. I'll use 500 more life points. Oh my goodness. The next card is quite powerful, too. Jesse's deck is insane. Insane. Okay. Do I want to clear the way with this Dekoichi, or do I save it for now? Mm. Hmm. You have three in hand, do I let you shuffle your deck? I don't think I want to. So, my Haman will attack your Lava Golem and inflict 1,000 points of damage. Okay. It's a fact little trigger. Oh, it's thousand. Yet another 1,000. Wow. I'm at 6,000. And I think that'll be it for me. Go ahead. Okay. Draw your brow. Thank you very much. Karibo. I will draw my brow. Okay. Hmm. Okay, one second. All right, I got something. Something you're not expecting. 
I'm gonna banish Dark Mimic level one, Dark Mimic level three, Raphael, Lord of Phantasm, to summon from my hand. Dork, Necrofear, ho 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 ho. Come to the field, my secret weapon. Dork, Necrofear. Dark Necrofear is gonna be great for me, guys. I know it's not the best strategy, but I can attack Dark Necrofear into Haman, and then of course Dark will die, but I can get Haman next turn. Hopefully, I can survive owning Haman as my sacred beast. Oh, zoom, 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 zoom. You can see the top card on my deck is Anti-Eating Ant, right? Like, surely you realize this, this is not a good play, but I'll take it. Jesse, you know what that does? Do you know, do you know Jesse? I do, but I'll read it out loud okay. for all the viewers. So, Canopy, normal summon set, must first be special summoned by banishing three fiend monsters from your graveyard. During yeah. the end phase, if this card is in your grave because it's destroyed in your monster zone by an opponent's card and sent there this turn, target one face of the monster opponent controls, equip this card to the target. While this card is equipped to a monster by its effect, take control of that monster. So, my Hamlin is now yours. Uh, after in I make theory. Th in theory. Yes, it is. Yes, you're, you're, you're right. I'm going to normal summon. My brow, Huntsman of the Dark World. Sure. Okay. Do you mind if I read your next card, Jesse? Is that okay? Oh, soon we may have wanted to do that before doing this, but have fun. Take a take a look at my anti-eater reading end. This card cannot be special, but sent by two spell traps. So this card can destroy one spell trap for but it cannot attack. What's wrong with that? He's gonna he's gonna summon. Okay, interesting. We just find out soon. Okay, I'm gonna enter battle phase. Brow, destroy this guy. Sure. Dark Necrofear will attack Haman, I'll lose 1800. Actually, you'll lose 2800 because when my guy destroys a monster at battle, you take an extra thousand. Oh, wow. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> my bad, Jesse. Okay, my bad. Okay, so I lose 2800. Okay. Um, I am going to. So, Dark Necrofear's effect. From the end phase. At the end so phase. You're ending your turn, you use So, it. I am going to be ending my turn, and I'm going to take Haman. Haman's going to be mine. Do your bidding. Thank you very much. Haman is mine! Give me Haman! Come on. All right, I don't know what that does. Before we begin, Zoom. Yes. Do you know what I've won, or I'm well known for in the community? I don't, besides a belt. The Thunder Dragon deck. Okay, Thunder Dragon. And uh, like Mjolnir for Thor, yeah. Haman for me will return to me. Okay. It will not stay with you. I'll draw my anti reading end. Okay. And the next part is the formality. I'll pay 500, add Ancient Year Golem. Okay, so you yeah. pay 500, add Mind Crush. Okay. So I'll lose 1,000. Fair, fair. Okay, but that card, you have to tribute two of your spells to summon him. Ah, uh, happily. Happily. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Set this. Okay. Send both for Ant Eater Eating Ant. Okay, so what do you do? That will destroy Dark Necrofear. Ant Eater Eating Ant. Oh my goodness. Like me owner, I'll call back my Haman. Come back to me. Like me all near, I'll call it. Come back to me, Haman. This game is mine. My mistake, I should start reading my cards better, and in this case, Jesse's cards better. I didn't read the Ant's effect that he could destroy my Dark Necrofear as a spawn trap card, and now Jesse gets Haman back. Oh my goodness. But he can't attack us first. Ant eater eating can't can. Yeah, okay. Ant eater eating yeah. ant can't. Oh yes. my god, that was a tongue twister. That was a tongue twister. Haman can though. Yes. And uh this should be enough. Harmon! Strike down soon with your judgment. I use Kribo! <laughs> and look what I'm trying next. Another one. But, all right, so I, mean, I survive one turn. You're only delaying the inevitable. Your brow still dies, and you still take 1,000 points of burn damage from Harmon destroying a monster by battle. Your end is near. It does not matter how long you delay it. <laughs> it's might be facts. That's facts. Go right. ahead. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw what can save me. Creepo. Okay. Hmm. I'm at 2200. 2200. So, if I set Creepo, I'll do I'll do a thousand. Right, which is right. Correct. Which might be better. Probably is. That's what I'm gonna do. And if you destroy him, I gotta search. I could get something to draw. I will draw. Yes. Lighten the load for turn. Yes. Pay, 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 and I'll pay 500. Get another okay. one. And then I'll pay 500 to get a big guy. All right. Drawing three cards per turn. Turn seems to be pretty good, wouldn't you say? Sure. I think so. Well, unfortunately, these monsters aren't going to be here for long. Whoa. Because I have a different strategy in mind. No. By tributing my two monsters, Ancient. the real boss monster in my deck does piercing damage, Ancient Gear Golem. 
ancient gear golem. <laughs> Just in case, you have that Karibo in your hand. I I'll activate Mind Crush. Calling Karibo. Oh. Jesse, I reveal Raphael. No little risk to take considering it only seals your doom. Pick a random card for me to discard. It does not matter. It does matter. <laughs> bye bye. All right. All right, you seem to be at 2200, and this does 3000 piercing over 500. Jesse, let me convince you on sparing me one turn. Spare me one turn! Spare me one turn! Spare me one turn! Spare me one turn! Hmm, do you see her? So you may not. Spare him! My name is Jesse Carlton Sam! Sam. Watch my turn! Spare him! Sam, do you remember what happened in 2018 in YCS London versus the Kid on Future Match? Hey, I show he was, he was no for a mercy. Turn, and he destroyed him. Attack! <laughs> no! Hey, Jesse, can you say to me, Ancient Gear Golem Mechanized Melee? Just say is that what it says? Yes, yes. Mechanized. Who do you tell me? Ancient Gear Golem Mechanized Melee. Good game, Jesse. Revenge. Guys, just played well. That's a good combo. That's a really good combo. It's nice. I got lucky. That was pretty as good. A, I get really this good twice combo. in a row. That was pretty, pretty insane. Wow. Good game. GGs. GGs. Jesse, that was a good duel. Guys, fun fact I've been in three Duel Night finals and I've played Jesse in all three of them. He's beating me now twice. I've beaten him once. Jesse, next time I'm getting you again. Good games to assume. We gotta get you to work up, work on that play a little bit, but you're definitely getting better and I'm, I'm happy to see it. it. Takes time to get to your maximum potential. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Duel Night. It was super cool to be playing something very different. If you guys wanna learn about how I constructed this draft and some of the like more artistic concessions I made, go check out the Patreon where I went in discussion talking about how I designed it all. And it should be super interesting to read, because this one especially is very different. The full match in the finals between Sum and I will also be on the Patreon. So you can see if he's able to backdoor me, or if I close out with a swift 2-0. Off the Patreon we go. Sam, you're going down, bro. My Egyptian gods will defeat your deck. Your deck is not on my level, baby. So if you guys want to go see that, sign up on Patreon right now. I'm telling you guys, absolutely epic. We all do crazy extras, and it's the most fun. Highly advise it. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I love seeing you guys. I read all the comments and I can't wait to watch this live. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, guys, that was so much fun on this episode. I'm so glad I was here. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my deck in action and of course the whole episode. I just want to say, if you guys want to watch the entire finals match, I'm going to get a chance to fight Jesse again and maybe win the match on Patreon. So of course, if you guys haven't, join the Patreon for exclusive content. You'll see me potentially do some more duels and just so much more fun content you don't want to miss. Guys, this Zuna episode was absolutely crazy. Congratulations. To Jesse Gunn for winning this insane Sacred Beast versus God episode. This draft was probably my favorite draft yet. Haman won, so shout-outs to you, Jesse and Haman. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Catch us in the Ultimate Losers match right now between me versus Steven, where we have a clash between the Egyptian gods versus Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. Guys, check out the Patreon in the link down below. We're going bigger and bigger every single time, so catch you guys later here on the Patreon. Link down below. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this episode of Duel Night. This is your boy Sam it's from Team Sam Sam Sanya. All right, guys, peace. Fuck you, beat.